Okay. Hi guys. What is going on? It's your boy Alex here. Back with yet another video. And in today, or tonight, this is going to be kind of a sad video for me. Because. I want to know why. Freaking like. There may or may or may not be like one pinch left in this. Which kind of sucks. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take my last pinch of my... Grizzly Long Cut Wintergreen. And I finally figured out what the difference is between um, regular Wintergreen and this stuff. And the difference is that this stuff, uh, this stuff is actual, like, 100% uh, uh, U.S. tobacco, I believe. Let me, let me actually see that the, there actually is a part on the label here. Yeah, it is 100% U.S. tobacco. The other shit, like the winter green... Actually, I'll, let me confirm that, actually, because that's a rumor I've been hearing, but I want to confirm that. I'm going to get the regular gr winter green can. I still have them laying around. Get it. Yeah, it Because I believe that the regular winter green can, that actually has some imported tobacco. Yep. Yep. Holy crap, it's actually right. It is actually right. Yep, because there's 30% imported, only 70% of it is tobacco, or US to grade A tobacco, and then this is just 100% US tobacco. I, d I don't know if you guys can see that. Will it focus? It's probably not going to focus. Yeah, I don't think it's going to focus enough. It's blurry as hell. I can even see that. Okay. Well, but it is 100% USDA tobacco or whatever. And then, um, this is, like, 30%, like, tobacco. Or, it's 30%, yeah, 30% tobacco from somewhere else and then 70% US tobacco. So, I figured out why they don't taste different because of, they put, it's really just because of the preservatives. Or, well, they have the same flavor, so they... Like the same carcinogens and stuff, and they concentrate the same way, but they eat, that's probably why the flavor isn't really different. I, I would probably assume, but it does have like a thicker look to it. This can is pretty much almost gone, so you really can't really see the tobacco at all. But this is a more dark tobacco. Uh, this stuff, well, this stuff is empty, but this is a more brownish tobacco. This shit is getting dry because I didn't even really, I really didn't even, like, freeze my dip at all. I froze it one night out of the whole week, or last week or whatever, so I'm going to try and pack this my truck out and get some of the tobacco on the, the inside. Alright. It's not even going to really click because there's not even that much tobacco stuffed in there anymore. It's not, I love that clicking sound when it's like a full pack, packed to the brim. Like it's just a fresh can, it's brand new, and it just goes click, click, click. Or at least the first like three days or something, you know. Oh, but yeah, this stuff is going to be pain in the ass to pinch because it's so... And this isn't even fine cut. This is like long cut. But it's still going to be a bitch to pinch because... I can't pack it at all. There's not hardly enough to pack. Unless I pack it on the edges. That might actually work. Actually, I'm not actually packing on the edges. You guys are like, why does it take this guy like like four minutes to pack a dip? I don't know. Hopefully my video file doesn't run away. I don't know how much recording time I got. I also noticed that if I start launching the recording straight off my uh, the actual YouTube application... I know the interface is like way different than it is on my normal camera app on my phone. And my face actually zooms in by default and I can't even really zoom in and out. It's just weird. But whatever it is what it is. Anyways. Last pinch more than likely of this can. Oh shit. Hold up. Good God. Okay. I'm making a fucking mess.
One thing that always pisses me off is whenever I pack my cheek, even when I pack it on the bottom, I try to pack, pack it as good as I can, it always gets on the upper roof. I hate that so much. Oh, and if you made it this far into the video, I know we don't do shout outs, but I would like to do a shout out. Um, there's this YouTuber I've been watching for quite a few months now. <coughs> His name is Real Police Talk. He. I believe what is it? He has like over 300,000. He's, a, I think he's a, re I can't remember if he's retired or he's on the verge of retiring, but he's got over like 300,000 different <coughs> stories of how he became a cop and whatnot, or 300, I, I think he's like 300,000 or 200,000 or some different stories about experiences that he's had with, um, cases and whatnot. <coughs> I mean, he tells you everything about a woman pissing her pants in a freaking courtroom to getting calls from a freaking venomous snake and everyone's afraid of this venomous snake snake for no reason like he never has tells the same story twice he's very unique and uh creates a lot of great content um and you guys know me i i don't just shut out youtubers for no reason I mean, they have to have some quality content, and this guy is exceptional. He watches all my videos. He's very loyal to me. Um, he comments on all my videos. I appreciate him a lot. He reminds me of some of the guys I used to have on my channel way back in, like, two years ago when I always had comments just scrolling down, just reading content, you know, or reading, reading comments all the time. Yeah, so um, he's, he's a very good YouTuber. He's an exceptional YouTuber. Um, yeah. I like him a lot. Because, seriously, how many, how many cops do you see on, you or retired cops do you see on YouTube? Um, just telling stories about their personal experiences. Not many. So he may or may not spawn a new generation of, like, law enforcement talk on YouTube, which is very, very cool. Um, that's, like, an exciting thing to think about. Because new genres on YouTube are always really cool. And they create a bunch of unique... Or they spawn a bunch of unique new com content creators. Because, you know, a few years from now, there could be, like, a, a bunch of other cops that watch them. And they'll be like, man, when I retire, I should make a YouTube channel about telling all my different stories and stuff and unique experiences. <laughs> And y'all, you guys are going to hear my phone ding because I have a group chat on Messenger from or Facebook or whatever. And I would mute it, but there's one problem with that. And that is the simple fact that if I do mute it, it might actually free freeze the stream. Because I was streaming on you now a few nights ago. and Or, you know, last night or something. And it froze. When I came back, my face was frozen. I couldn't even tell if I was recording anymore. So yeah, so yeah, um, I'm not really gonna do that. I'm just gonna let them be annoying and do their thing. But yeah, the one, the friend that's texting right now, the one that's going off right now on my phone, um, her birthday was today, she's 19, she's a year younger than me, and, uh, she's going to Mille Lacs right now, so, that's cool. Her name is Victoria. I met her, uh... My first year of high school. I was a freshman. She was a 8th grader. So yeah. I've known her for many, many years now. As you can imagine. Because I've been out of high school for 2 years now. So we've known each other for a very, very, very long time. And uh, another thing I want to point out is like. Again. I can't stress this enough. What do you guys want to see me do for my 100 subscriber special? Like, I'm telling you guys, I know I have 100 subscribers, so I'm not blind to the fact, I'm not trying to be blind to the fact that I have 100 subscribers, it's just I don't know what to do for a special. Um, when we hit 50 subscribers back in the day, I did a, um, I decided I was going to do a, uh, a, a PSN giveaway, 
And I, I would gladly do one of those again. It's just on... Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to do an Xbox One card giveaway? I don't have an Xbox One, so it'd be perfect to do a giveaway for it because it's like, well, I don't need this, so I could give it to you guys. Or do you guys just want me to do a simple subscriber show-up video? Because I did a subscriber show-up video for 80 subscribers. Um, so I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's really up to you guys. What do you want? You know... It's up to you guys. I don't want to just, like, do my own thing. Like, I want to be interactive about this. Um, you guys want to see me do a different dip review for 100 subscribers? But, I mean, even then, it's, like... Or a video game review or something. But even then, it's... Like, I can't really do a video game review, guys. Because I don't really have any video games at the moment. Um, so, what do you... I don't know. Do you guys want me to watch a certain movie or something? Do you guys want me to do a review on a certain different kind of dip? Like, I'm up to option. I'm... Whatever you guys want to see, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get, um, I have thought about this too, um, I wonder if YouTube is actually going to send me a, uh, 100 subscriber plaque, which if you guys don't know what that, the plaque is, it's basically something that you can hang on your wall and it's just like, hey, you got 100 subscribers, I don't know if YouTube is going to do that. That would be a cool Christmas gift to get from YouTube is if I could make a video on a 100 subscriber plaque. I know they used to have one back in the day. I don't know if they still do. But I've heard it takes many, many months to get. So I don't know if, if I have to submit something to YouTube and be like, okay, I got 100 subscribers. Am I going to get a plaque for it? I don't know if I have to. I don't know if they're aware of me because I'm a smaller YouTuber and I don't always come up in the algorithms or what it is. But um, I'm kind of mad about that, honestly. Like, that's actually a personal... That hits the heart, man. It, it was a grind to get here. And YouTube still hasn't really acknowledged me yet. So I'm hoping that they acknowledge me. And I actually get that plaque someday. Because literally, there's no excuse why they couldn't find out where I live or anything. When I created my channel back in January 2016, I literally... I'm not even kidding. I put my address and I put my phone, my parents' phone number and all that. Because I still live with my parents. Um, until I get you know, better work and stuff. So it's like, I don't understand why they don't know where I live, or... I know it takes many, many months. Um, I don't remember the exact date. I hit 100 subscribers, I just know it was quite a few months ago. So I'm like, I don't understand if I have to get... Maybe I have to get to, like, 150 subscribers. Maybe that I have to get to a certain threshold, so they're like... Okay, he's gonna be consistently at 100 subscribers, or something. I'm not really sure. But I'm kind of mad that they haven't acknowledged me or anything. Like, what do I have to do to get that plaque? So I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I hope I do. Like, I'll be pretty mad if I get to 200 subscribers. I'll be pretty mad if I get to 200 subscribers and I still don't even have a 100 subscriber plaque. Like, because I think they have a plaque for, like, 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, and so on and so forth. I don't know if they, like, the next stash was, like, 10 million or what the hell is. I'm probably never going to be that big, but... God damn, if I could at least get to 1,000 subscribers one day. And, like, I don't really complain about my subscriber, like, threshold ever, so... Like, I know I'm not going to get there until I start being able to produce a lot of interesting content. But my only limitation is money. Like, I don't have enough money to go out and buy a really nice microphone, like a Blue Yeti or anything like that. I want to get a better camera, like an actual film studio camera. Something that I can actually enjoy. Um, not this little bitch, like, phones and webcams on computers. Like, I want an actual, like, studio-type film camera that I can actually record my content or my videos in 1080p and um like have it process on youtube smoothly because it's actually a straight up recording file from my actual like camera so yeah because this like if i try to stream on this in 1080p like it's just gonna crash this is probably like default 360p or something i don't really know for sure but yeah youtube if you're listening like 
when am I going to see that crap? Like, I don't understand why it's taking so long. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I will talk to you guys later on in the week or something. Maybe even tomorrow I'll make a video, but I kind of doubt it. But anyways, I might only, I might for a while only be making a video like once a week. Because there has to be real something really interesting to talk about. And this video isn't really that interesting. I'm just doing it to like keep myself relevant, you know. But yeah, guys, I will definitely be releasing more videos later on. Um, I will talk to you guys later in peace.